West Hill United is a progressive spiritual community where how you live is more important than what you believe. West Hill United is a people, a place, an idea. We are a community living out of a progressive faith, striving to make a positive difference in our own lives, the lives of others, and the world. Join us Sundays at 10.30 a.m. or connect with us at any time. Thank you, Cindy. Our first reading is a quote from Paolo Freire's seminal work, Pedagogy of the Oppressed. I confess I had to check on the meaning of pedagogy, which is, I found, the method and practice of teaching, especially as an academic subject or theoretical concept. In this passage, Fieri defines true generosity, which he juxtaposes with false charity. False charity asks the people in need to supplicate themselves for any help received. Whereas true generosity hopes for a solidarity with the oppressed that seeks a collaborative liberation. This is consistent with the work of the East Scarborough Boys and Girls Club. So, an excerpt from Pedagogy of the Oppressed by Paolo Freire. True generosity consists precisely in fighting to destroy the causes which nourish false charity. False charity constrains the fearful and subdued, the rejects of life, to extend their trembling hands. True generosity lies in striving so that these hands, whether of individuals or entire peoples, need be extended less and less in supplication so that more and more they become human hands which work and working transform the world. Offered as wisdom for the journey, may we walk in its light. At the presidential inauguration for Joe Biden on January the 20th, 2021, first ever National Youth Poet Laureate Amanda Gorman performed her poem, The Hill We Climb, written for the occasion. It was a powerful moment of clarity and courageous words and a truly shining example of youth voice. Youth voice is the ideas, opinions and actions of young people. And at Boys and Girls Clubs, they both cultivate and honor that definition in everything that they do. Selected verses from The Hill We Climb by Amanda Gorman. When day comes, we ask ourselves, where can we find light in this never ending shade? The loss we carry, a sea, we must wade. We've braved the belly of the beast. We've learned that quiet isn't always peace and the norms and notions of what just is isn't always justice and yet the dawn is ours before we knew it somehow we do it somehow we've weathered and witnessed a nation that isn't broken but simply unfinished. 
we, the successors of a country and the time where a skinny black girl descended from slaves and raised by a single mother can dream of becoming president only to find herself reciting for one. And yes, we are far from polished, far from pristine, but that doesn't mean we are striving to form a union that is perfect. We are striving to forge our union with purpose. To compose a country committed to all cultures, colors, characters, and conditions of man. And so we lift our gaze, not to what stands between us, but what stands before us. We close the divide because we know that to put our future first, we must first put our differences aside. We lay down our arms so we can reach out our arms to one another. We seek harm to none and harmony for all. Let the globe, if nothing else, say this is true, that even as we grieved, we grew, that even as we hurt, we hoped, that even as we tired, we tried. That will forever be tied together, victorious, not because we will never again know defeat, but because we will never again sow division. Scripture tells us to envision that everyone shall sit under their own vine and fig tree and no one shall make them afraid. If we're to live up to our own time, then victory won't lie in the blade but in the bridges we've made. That is the promise to glade the hill we climb, if only we dare. It's because being American is more than a pride we inherit. It's the past we step into and how we repair it. And every known nook of our nation and every corner called our country. Our people, diverse and beautiful, will emerge, battered and beautiful. When day comes, we step out of the shade of flame and unafraid. The new dawn balloons as we free it. For well, there was always light, if only we're brave enough to see it. If only we're brave enough to be it. Offered as wisdom for the journey. May we walk. We walk in this light. Thank you so much, um, Cindy, for that wonderful, warm welcome and to all of you for the warmth and the beautiful um the vibration this morning uh, peace and blessings to you all um i'm wondering can i share my screen um i should have asked you earlier for access but if it's not a, if it's not doable then um i'll just talk yeah if you can So while they're doing that, I just wanted to start um, by saying we're so uh, continue. We're so uh, grateful to be able to continue this walk of partnership and build on it um, as we move into the future, uh, regardless of you know the opportunities for growth that have presented themselves over the last couple of years. 
we've always been able to come to the table and find uh, and resolve the issue harmoniously. And it's our core goal to continue that as um, we we move into the time ahead. So I want to say, uh, you know, share our extend the gratitude and our thanks from uh, the board of directors, myself and all of our um, um, phenomenal staff that animate the wonderful work that we do. I wanted to start off today by... Um, I think you should be able to share now. Uh, yeah, I can see it now. I wanted to share uh, a video clip, I think sometimes um, the imagery um, brings a little bit more, con you know, of look, shape and feel to what and who we are. So I will start with um, a general uh, just overview of BGC. So just as so you know, uh, we went through uh, Boys and Girls, we are an independent uh, club as, as we're known. Um, so formerly Boys and Girls Club uh, Canada, prior to that, it was the Boys Club. Um, this is an organization that uh, was founded in 1968. So it's had many different incarnations and evolutions of um, how it's how we've been presented in the world. Um, and more recently, we have transitioned. So you'll see most all of our branding and all of um, you know our literature will say BGC East Scarborough, rather than Boys and Girls Club, um, in an effort to move towards a more gender neutral um, uh, representation of who we are. It still has some ways to go, but um, this is what has come down from our national body and maybe about maybe about three years ago. So you'll see, um, you know, we we now, you know, focus and we make sure to animate as BGC East Scarborough and the building uh, where you, you are at this morning and where, uh, you know, we run our youth services is called Ma'at Youth Innovation and Cultural Center. So I will play a quick clip um, just to share an overview and get, get give you a bit of a feel into our space at Galloway and also some of the services we provide. And then I'll share a bit of a, a video, a promotion that we did for Ma'at and um, just do an overview of what, what we're focusing on as we are getting into the winter relief months and, you know, COVID and um, just the, the circus, social circumstances have left a heavy weight um, and challenge locally um, around access. So I'll share this um, video here. So that's just a bit of an overview of, um, uh, you know, some of just uh, the the essence and energy um, that we um, aim to animate locally and um, give you a bit of an overview. We do welcome anyone who would love to come for a tour, more so volunteer. <laughs> We're always looking for volunteers um, at um, either one of our sites. Um, we are always open and welcome to having more volunteers. In fact, we have a volunteer drive right now. 
Um, I'll just quickly, for time's sake, get into this clip here. And this is going to give you an overview of what we're doing um, at the at the space, uh, at the, um, the youth center space. Scarborough is a special place. We are a diverse kaleidoscope of people filled with community spirit. And from this special place, we have embarked on our journey. The Ma'at Youth Innovation and Cultural Center came into being when the board of directors of BGC East Scarborough fully endorsed and embraced my vision to create an intentional space standalone space that would nurture the infinite potential of young, Black, Indigenous, and youth of color. This space will provide them with a safe, comfortable environment to learn. It will provide them with educational support and also with innovative resources that will inspire them to pursue their educational goals. Here at the center, we're raising awareness around BIPOC individuals in the science, technology, engineering, and math field. So I like being able to come here um, because it's definitely a space where I'm able to integrate kind of the old way of doing things as well as utilizing technology and computers specifically as a way to catapult myself into a new career. The REACH program is an employment program where youth are able to learn employability skills to find stable employment. But it's more than just an employment program. It's a program where youth are able to find themselves and have a better understanding of their values and beliefs. I came into this program with the expectation of only career advice. However, the support I received was also emotional. That took me from my dark place, where I now have a positive outlook in life, and excited for my future. I believe expression is limitless and giving youth a home that they're able to come here and experience art freely with a safe space to do it is something that community needs and I think a lot of our youth need as well. We are so fortunate to have so many talented members of the BIPOC community here in Scarborough. Our events and programs showcase this talent because we want to inspire youth to express themselves and celebrate everything that is part of who they are as an individual and as a community. As an artist, I gave myself the duty of inspiring others and spreading a message. And I find it important to have a platform that allows me to do these things. Mentors are vital to the success um, and the upbringing uh, and the growth of the next generation. And just the choices that they make, they need some guidance, some help. We all call him coach just because he has that mentorship with us. Like everyone just respects him and he respects us the way we respect him. So it's beyond mentorship. He, he honestly, like a father to me, um, can he change my life? He saved my life. You know, I've known him for 14 years and without him, I don't know where I'd be today. So, you know, um, he's just been a father figure to me and I appreciate him a lot. And he's impacted my life tons. Our biggest hope is that the Mahat Youth Innovation and Cultural Center will continue to provide youth of the BIPOC community the tools and resources they need to achieve their goals and pursue their biggest dreams. All right. So um, I think today I'll focus mostly on Ma'at um, because this is our shared space and our shared journey. Um, I want to, you know, again, just thank you all for um, trusting us, um, you know, uh, trusting it, it's, it's a major, 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 um, step to take with, uh, a community organization to embark on this type of a transition. And we are so humbled and grateful, um, and just, um, appreciative of being able to access and animate this particular work that is very intentional, as you can see very um, 
streamlined and focused. Um, and it's been turning out, you know, just, just wonderful results. And we are so excited to see how in the future we're going to build on, on the work that's being done there. So for those of you who may not be aware, we run, um, as was said there, mentorship. We do, um, we have a partnership with the city of Toronto uh, to run enhanced youth services. Our, and um, our part of the bargain is that um, we do all of the cultural innovation pieces, all of the mentoring pieces here on Park Community Center, which is just a, up the road and around the corner does, um, is a space where we facilitate all of our, the recreational components and Native Child and Family um, Services, uh, their youth outreach worker provides um, on-site supports for Indigenous community. We also have an early on center, um, our now renamed Orchard Park uh, Early On Center, which is a drop in uh, children, um, early, early infant learning and um, um, inter interconnected relationship building for toddlers and those getting ready for school. So it's an opportunity for, for parents to have their children engage and build social relationships at Ma'at. The, this is a, a, a unique early on in that it's um, Afro-Indigenous focus. So children are, 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 have access to um, cultural uh, learning opportunities. Uh, in fact, we're, we've actually just decided to uh, animate those throughout all of our sites. So BGC East Scarborough has about 32 satellite sites across Scarborough going all the way to uh, Ke uh, Kennedy and Eglinton, and then as east um, as uh, as Maat, so the Orchard Orchard Park, and we and originally used to keep south of the 401, but now um, have been asked by the city to uh, open two childcare centers north of the 401. So, um, as you can see, we're pretty sprawled, and um, we're pretty large. We're the largest um, the largest uh, multi-service agency serving East Scarborough currently. Uh, we've been that for many years now. And at Ma'at, we wanted to be intentional around shifting the narrative and paradigm in uh, when we look at um, employment access, mentoring, and um, academic bridging for young Black youth and Indigenous youth. Um, and so our employment programs um, that you see there are programs that are intentional that help youth. Um, as, as I'm not sure if any of you are aware, but getting into the trades can be quite a road to navigate, especially for racialized communities. When you look at the metrics of um, youth, or not just youth, but um, those who identified as coming from a racialized community in the trade unions across the province, they're less than 5%. And so we've partnered with a major um, or a major trades organization, Modern Niagara. And you might've seen in some of the images there, some of the trainings that are happening there, they focus on mechanical trade. And the program that we have with them is that our youth do the hours through training with them. And then they help us to get the youth, not just employed, but also into the union, which is a really big um, step and opportunity uh, for them. So, we run the employment programs, we do job share programs, we are in partnership with University of Toronto and Centennial. In fact, Centennial um, College will be running a program this summer through the new kitchen, which I'm hoping all of you have had the opportunity and I'll, I'll actually take some pictures and share so that uh, perhaps Cindy can um, share them um, uh, digitally with the, the, the broader um, virtual community. But um, we are very much invested, as you can tell, um, you know, in making it a joyful and happy space and a space that is, uh, you know, filled with um, key objectives and outcomes that are rooted in love. And I think that's, uh, you know, something that we have in common. And we are looking at, you know, and, and looking and open to many ways that we can um, partner and work with West Hill United Church to continue um, the great work that we're, we're, you know, that we've embarked on for the local community. So I just wanted to share this last piece here. As I mentioned earlier, we are, I wanted to make our talk today kind of relevant to things that are happening currently. 
as you know, um, you know, I think I shared last year, uh, our, our organization supports uh, upwards of a thousand people during the winter holidays. Um, you know, we have families, we have various programs um, to support families with getting gifts to children. Um, for those who may not be able to get gifts for all of their children, we have actually just uh, closed, yesterday was the last day to register for our gift giving program. We have um, this particular, um, the Magic Snowflake program is an opportunity for those who are in a position to give or help anonymously a family by buying a gift or some type of technology that we can pass on to a family in need. And so um, if I'm not sure if it, how big it is on your screen, but for those of you who are tech savvy, not like me, <laughs> um, you can actually scan the box there um, and it'll get you a link um, to go straight to um, the page with more information and you can um, actually sign up if you're interested. Uh, this particular program is so helpful for us. Our staff last year and every year we are all the way from about December 22nd to December 24th, working on getting winter relief food programs. Last year, we gave out over seven, um, 750 pounds of food uh, to local families for the holidays. We try our best to make sure that, uh, especially for those who are most vulnerable, that we are able to give enough so that they are to, you know, to prepare a, 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 a warm and, um, a holistic meal for their family uh, during, you know, especially for those who do celebrate um, on the 25th, um, but also for those who don't, right? Like just making sure that there is no uh, gaps in terms of food access. So this year we're aiming to get out 1200 pounds of food. So again, volunteers, if anyone is interested in helping us get those out, um, we definitely would appreciate you coming out and signing up. We also, as I said before, we do uh, uh, so get support from um, the Joy Mountain. Some of you might be familiar with the Chum Wish Foundation, uh, but there are always gaps. So if any of you are interested in being, you know, a magic snowflake, uh, the, the snowflake anonymous angel, then I would encourage you to um, definitely check out our website if you can't scan or scan uh, the box there and find out how you can sign up. And another major piece is our winter coat relief. Um, we do winter coats, boots, gloves, uh, you know, accessories. Um, we do uh, the entire gym. So the gym that you saw um, in the, the first video, we aim to do all of our, pro we, it's not even aim, we are committed to providing a dignified approach to how um, community accesses any of the services or offerings from BGC Scarborough. So that entire gym is filled and we make it look like a shopping center and parents and families are encouraged to come and shop till they drop, take what they need in terms of winter coats and changing their um, winter relief for their families. I'm pleased to say that, um, you know, we've had some, um, you know, Banana Republic and um, you know, even coach one year um, donate. Um, so that again, we really focus on making sure that there's an equitable approach to access and not just whatever whatever we can get our hands on. And so uh, this year we're excited that we're able to get back to that model of having uh, families and individuals come and walk through the gym and pick what they need. Um, in the COVID years, we've had to bundle and prepackage and assume, and it was very challenging. Um, and we tried our best to make sure that people could always come back and exchange if they needed. However, this year we're going back to um, our original model. So again, um, you know, you'll hear me endlessly ask for volunteers. Uh, so those who are have some free time, even if it's just one day or a couple hours for the month, um, to come out and help. Um, it's a major time of the year for us right now, heading into December. So I'll land it there because there's so many things we could say. I would encourage all of you to. Um, please check out our website. It's uh, esbgc.ca. I'll put it in the chat. Uh, and I'll open the floor to any questions that are uh, specific to uh, anything that you've seen here today or any questions that you may have had coming into uh, to, to today's um, gathering. Thanks so much, Ucha. I'm wondering if you could stick around for a couple minutes. We're just going to sure. sing a song and 
and then uh, bless the group, and then we'll have a short, we'll have a Q&A after that, Ucha. So oh, okay. Be, yeah, no worries. Okay? Yeah. So that'd be super. Um, so if you could stop sharing, that'd probably be helpful too. Yeah. Thank you. No. Thank please. you, Ucha, and let's You're give welcome. her a little clap. Thank you so much. Become a sustaining champion of West Hill United's work by committing to an automatic monthly donation. Learn more or donate now through Canada Helps.